So as you guys have seen in the footage you just watched, I made all these flowers from the jelly printed photo paper that I did in a previous video. And it's really not that hard. When I do doodle flowers, I try to keep it as simple as possible, and basically it's a series of lines, dots, dashes, and circles. I do use this now to make a nicer circle, but I don't mind freehanding. If I didn't have this, then I would draw the circle freehand. Really not that big of a deal. Um, so these are the ones that you saw on camera. I have already fuzzy cut them, and eventually they will end up on a little card like this, where I do drawing on it and then glue it onto the card. And then I will probably do these in a giveaway eventually. I'm trying to stock up stuff to do a subscriber giveaway. But for now, it will sit in a box and wait. <laughs> like everything else in my room. All right, so that is all I do about doing um, flower doodles. And for those of you who haven't seen them, I have now this is a little hard because it's shiny. The, uh, let me see if I can turn off a light to make it easier. No, it doesn't work. I'm filming during the day, so I'm not really familiar with how light goes during the day. <laughs> anyway, so these are the um, doodle flowers that I did a while back. And the, I weeded out the ones that were really too big. Where's the card? Um, too large to do on a card this size. They need something like this a larger size tag do i have a big huge tag over here hang on let me see no uh, oh yeah here it is um they need to be on a large tag now this is a tag from packaging evidently it is let's see paper clips something clips i don't know anyway so the larger flowers need uh, a larger surface to be on and I will put a series of larger flowers on there because I I have the larger flowers it's just they don't go on the little tiny cards and right now I'm doing the little tiny ones eventually I'll work my way up to where I use the big ones and these are no different than the ones that I showed you that were yellow how about you come down closer it's just a series of dots dashes circles and lines it's not anything complicated then it's the Posca pin or some other kind of pen to do the little dots on it. Posca, usually I do in the middle of the flower if it requires it. And then something else that I do is I have different thicknesses of permanent pens that I use to do emphasis for. So really and truly, this is not anything complicated. And if you're a beginning doodler, this is a great project to start with. You can learn how to doodle just by doing flowers and it's very simple um here are the i haven't shown these but i do doodle leaves and here are the doodle leaves um and i do them in pairs i don't cut them out whoops i don't cut them out till i actually need them that way i have a match set some of them are kind of wacky looking and I have cut individuals out, but for the most part, I don't fussy cut these until the last minute because there's a right and a left, sort of. Um, and they're there when I need them later, so I don't really fussy cut a lot of those to begin with. But the flowers, I go ahead and fussy cut because there's not a, a right and a left and I can use as many of those as I want, but the leaves on the flowers is a different issue. Okay, so that's it about how I do the doodle flowers, and this is doodle flowers on photo paper. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.